Hello, this is Andrea with the ADS Agency here to bring you the very best in marketing and branding tips as well as business tips for those of you who are entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and all that jazz. Welcome and thanks so much for coming. Today, I'm so excited to show you something that I've been using forever and I just assume people know about this tool and use it all the time. And I came across a friend the other day who was looking for tips on how to organically grow their followership on social media. Uh, one of the topics we came upon was Twitter. And I said, are you not using TweetDeck? You know, because TweetDeck is so easy. And he was just so amazed by that tool. And I thought I would share it with you as well because he wasn't aware of it. If he wasn't, I know other people aren't either. So if you're using Twitter for your business, absolutely look at TweetDeck. It's different from something like Hootsuite, Buffer, Spot Social, all those things that can help you schedule, manage your social media, uh, post tweets, all those things. This is more along the lines of social listening, but you can also use it for scheduling tweets and it's so helpful, especially if you have multiple accounts to use. So say you have a personal account and a business account at minimum, TweetDeck is so helpful for this. Um, and then if you're like me and you're in marketing and you have several accounts that you manage, TweetDeck is a lifesaver. It's so great for easy engagement, meaningful dialogue, social listening, all those things. So. We'll talk a little bit about the features of TweetDeck and also about the navigation. So thanks so much for coming and here we go. So when you come to Twitter, it looks like this, you know, and I think this is why a lot of people don't engage with Twitter because they come here, you know, whether it's on their phone app or on a laptop like I'm on now and they scroll through and it's just a hodgepodge of people they follow and it's just randomness, whateverness, you know, out here. There's Sean Kennel and my friend Donnell Suggs, you know, but it's just there's no organization to it. And it's kind of messy to look at. So to go to go to TweetDeck, this is so simple. All you do is click here. You want to go to this address, tweetdeck.twitter.com. Hit enter. And boom, you're there. <laughs> Once my internet catches up, there you go. And so it's so easy to see so many things. And what it is, is all these columns I'm gonna just go on endlessly, boom, you can scroll all the way across. Sorry, that's real fast, but you can see all these columns and every column represents an interest of yours. Here is a list I have called YouTubers. I have Sean Kennel on it, love him. I've already liked all this stuff from him, Sonny Lenarduzzi, Tim Schmoyer, Andrew Ken, you know, liked all their stuff. And this is an easy way where you can see what they're talking about, retweet them, chat with them, whatever you want to do. Flourish, that's a networking, women's networking group I have. So there's not a lot of members who are on Twitter on that group, but the ones who are, I keep them on tabs on this list. These are lists that are set up in Twitter. So if it's a list that's on this column that I'm tracking, you'll see this little list icon here. If it's a mention from an account, any mentions like United Way AAP is a nonprofit organization I'm on the board for. I want to keep up track with what whoever mentions them. This is a column that keeps and keeps track of those mentions. This is a search for SBA Georgia for local business. You know, so you can see that there. And I'm scrolling across highly interesting people. Here's people who mention me. Thank you. Me is in my business, the ADS agency. Um, I can see ATL politics here. Agencies is a list I have something for. I have a list for my top interactors. So this is a good way to keep track of all the people who ever show you love and you want to show them love back, you know, keep in tabs with each other and keep that good engagement relationship building going. Um, I create a list called top interactors. I'm going to just show you this one other thing, a hashtag architecture. So you can actually follow a hashtag and you know this shows everything that ever shows up with the hashtag architecture which is a lot this will you know i'm retweeting this for an architecture account of mine easy to retweet just did that um you know so how to set up lists i'm just going to pause and show you that real fast if you don't know in twitter definitely do this makes your life so much easier just go to your profile do this on a laptop profile and settings underneath this profile is this button lists 
So you want to click that, click lists, and then you'll see all your lists that show up here. I have far too many. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I have a lot of lists, a lot, a lot of lists. Sorry, it's kind of jumping all around there. But, you know, it's so easy to set up a list. If you want to set up a new list, just go over here to, to the right where it says create a list. You can click create new list, add a name, description. Um, I'm just going to make one up right now. Uh, let's say I want to call this one explorers. You can put a description in here if you like. Um, you can choose to make this public or private for now. I'm going to leave it private because it's whatever. Um, it's just an example list. And I can find people by name, you know, so I can type in travel, whatever, and do a search and follow all these people if I wanted to, and then add them, add or remove from lists. I go and find my, what was that list I called? Explorers? Explorers. I added them to a list. Boom, that's so easy. So there's, I added, you know, this one person, I'm going to add this other person to that same list. Sorry, I have so many lists here. You're going to have a much easier time than this. Explorers. Same thing, I'm going to add Discover Atlanta to that list. Explorers. And you can choose to make these lists public or private. It's totally up to you, depending on whether you want people to know what you're looking for or not. You know, most people don't even know about that feature, so it's whatever. But um, for those who do know, it is helpful if you want people to subscribe to your list. So I can go back here to TweetDeck. Right, and I can click add column. This is how you add a column for things you want to search for. Click add column. You can see all the many different options you have here, but I'm going to go to this list one. List. I'm going to, here it's going to let me search. Oh, I bet you I have to um, refresh this for it to show up. So if, if you ever find something's not happening right with TweetDeck, just refresh your browser. It should work. <laughs> so I'm going to try this again. Add a column. I'm going to click list. I'm going to look for, boom, there it is, explorers. Told you. And then, boom, there's all my people. So I'm going to click add column. And you can see it added those people, that list to the right here. And I can like to my heart's content and retweet and all the whatever I want to do. If I ever wanted to get rid of this list, if you click this thing right here, this little left to right looky thing, um, it gives you options to move. See these carrots here? I can move this list over. If I wanted to like reorganize the order of all this, I can move it back. If I click this little right thing, I can share this. I can clear it, blah, blah, blah. All these options, edit the list. If I wanna remove this, column, boom, remove, it's gone. Easy, so easy. TweetDeck makes your life so much easier. So this is TweetDeck. One other thing I wanted to show you is tweet. See how I kind of scheduled a tweet in here for you to see. I don't always use TweetDeck to schedule things, but I'm showing you today how you can do that. Um, let's say I have a tweet on Twitter. I'm gonna take you to my business page, the ADS Agency. Shameless plug for myself. You can follow me here, <laughs> the ADS Agency. You're also welcome to follow me on um, my personal account too, Miss ADS08. But say I wanted to do a retweet of this. How do you create a powerful business name? Actually, I'm going to go to my personal because I like that personal tweet better on Miss ADS08. Yeah, this is the one with the cool Cinderella quote. Names have power like magic spells, Cinderella. Um, so I'm going to copy this content copy and put it now I want to retweet that from my business account actually and I want to use oh that's scheduling tweets for your business okay I want to go to my YouTube right here and then there's that wonderful Cinderella quote I just want to copy this video URL Thank you, that's all I needed. And then I'm gonna go back to TweetDeck and paste that link. And I can copy this whole thing and reschedule this several times if I wanted to. So I can, and it gives you all these options. I could add an image if I wanted to. I can send this as a direct message, but I just wanna schedule this tweet. 
So if I click schedule tweet, it gives you a notification. It says your scheduled tweet will send even if TweetDeck is not running at the time, which is awesome. You know, so even if you're not on your laptop, whenever you tweet, schedule this to be tweeted, um, you know, it's going to go, go out anyway. So I already have one of these scheduled out for Tuesday. Let's say I wanted to do one on Thursday. And I want to do six because I love the number 808. <laughs> 608 a.m. Say I want to do it at 608 a.m. for the early birders. So I can tweet that. And by the way, it's going to be Thursday. So I could also add the hashtag Thursday thoughts, you know, because that's the popular one for Thursday. Uh, tweet at June 7th at this time. And you want to just double check it's from the correct account. Boom. Tweet. And now it doesn't show up here yet. If you want to see it, just refresh your screen. That's the answer for many issues in Twitter <laughs> on TweetDeck, refresh your screen. And boom, there you see, there's two scheduled tweets. So, so easy. There's my friend Ray Abram, yay. So um, that's an easy way to schedule tweets. And again, you can do it from multiple accounts. As you can see, I have several accounts here. If you go over here to accounts and click there, you can see where you can add in whatever accounts you want. So here's several I have already. If I wanted another, I could click link another account, click continue, and there it lets me add in my credentials for another account, and you click authorize. So that's how you add in several accounts. All right, and I can get rid of this, boom. And again, you know, add columns. If I wanted to get rid of this, I could hit collapse, but I never do that. I always like to see this. <laughs> And that's TweetDeck. So simple and so easy. And it works so seamlessly with whatever account you have going on with Twitter. All of mine are tied to my personal one. But from my personal, I can access my, um, my business one and all of that and several clients all on TweetDeck. Okay? And that's it. That's pretty much what I wanted to show you today. And thank you so much. We're going to go back to our regular scheduled program now. So I hope you enjoyed those tips. TweetDeck is an awesome, fun tool for me. I was so glad to be able to share that with you. What questions do you have? What, um, what are you wondering about out there? Try out TweetDeck for yourself. Highly recommend it. And then come back to me if you have questions on anything, how to use it, what does it mean, even if it's something silly, simple, you know, how to add an account or any of that. So. Uh, make sure you come see me if you have any questions whatsoever. Again, if you've never subscribed before, please be sure to subscribe at the ADS uh, agency. You can do that at the buttons below. We'd love to have you as a new subscriber here for your best marketing and branding business tips. And be sure to follow us on the other social media accounts that we have. Uh, and we're on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, of course, you're here. Uh, LinkedIn, you can find us anywhere at The ADS Agency. Instagram also, T-H-E-A-D-S Agency. All right. Thanks so much for being here. We appreciate you. And have a great week and happy twittering, tweeting, all that tweeties. Mwah. See ya.